Welcome back. This is the final part of the 55 gallon drum build out. I just finished building the lid, the false bottom and the false bottom support. If anybody wants to make something like this, you can get all the parts listed on the link below, kit.com slash Myers Mushrooms. Uh, the, this false bottom is actually a new design, the false bottom support. I'm using a keg. I really like it because it's a ring and it's strong and it's one piece construction. Previously, I was taking like a big sheet of metal, cutting it into a strip and then bringing it around and bolting it together. And this is way better because it's just one piece construction. Um, I notched it for the element and then I notched it for the float. The reason why I notched them separately is so that way the element one kind of limits the rotational movement and you'll see in a second watch. And the main thing is you don't want that float valve to get hung up on anything. So you can see it's, it's not gonna hit. So that's the idea of that. And then over here, the false bottom, this is made from an old prep table. So that just plops right in. You don't need any holes in it. The heat will find its way through, don't worry about it. And then the lid, this lid I used a, um, there's a five gallon bucket on the bottom of it. And the reason for that is I don't want the holes that I drilled to get plugged. Uh, I drilled two holes, one small hole and one big hole. This is a primary vent right here. And this one just has a zip tie going through it. And then I have the other end of the zip tie here uh, holding it to it. And then I have a bunch of holes so what happens is if the bags ever inflate for whatever reason or, or get pressed up against the lid, if there was just a hole, it would plug it up and it would pressurize the drum and you don't want that. So this prevents pressurization from happening. And that just gets plopped on top. For gluing the lid down, this time I used a tube of caulking. Previously I was using the Great Stuff insulation, like the same, the foam insulation, but it was coming loose. So I used the, the uh, caulking, I used uh, like, what is it? Bathroom caulk, silicone, and that should hold it down. I used a whole tube. Um, so yeah, and then also you can see I have the regulator over here. This is like one of the most important things. Make sure you have a good regulator, bringing it down to like 20 PSI or less. Otherwise the float's much more likely to get hung up just on pressure alone. So uh, this one actually has a, a custom made little box. This is the Sylvania controller that I use, but instead of mounting it in the wall, I mounted it on the unit. So I got a Carlin box. I actually have a, a video build out if you want to see it. Uh, check the link above. And then uh, it, it's all gland nuts and it lo looks really nice. It's waterproof and it just keeps it all contained together. So yeah. So hopefully you guys, if you, if you have any questions, want to build this, uh, hit me up. You know, I'm, I'm more than, than uh, welcome to hit you up, or to get back with you on answers. And if anybody wants one of these built, Bubba's Barrels is actually going to be building them soon. They're going to build them a hell of a lot more legit. They're going to be building them with a way better insulation, probably a, a PID controller or some kind of fancier controller than just this. Dual voltage, 12, 20, or not 12, but uh, 120, 240 voltage. So if you want to run it at 5,500 watts, you can run it at 5,500 watts. Or if you want to run it at 1,500 watts, you can, or actually I think it's 3,500 or 1,500 watts because it's the same element that you can run on dual voltage. But um, yeah, that's the idea. They're gonna have a dual voltage and it'll be all process controlled and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll be online the next month or two. I'm working with them right now and getting it online. So yeah, uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and keep on mushrooming. Have a good one.